Hey everyone, so it looks like there's more drama with Segwit2x. So as you know, um, there was an email sent out by the CEO of BitGo um, a couple days ago and he stated that they were canceling Segwit2x due to lack of a consensus and um, lack of support and them not wanting to split the community up. So that was seen you know, as a good thing. Um, the price of Bitcoin went up, um, everything was fine. The price of altcoins actually have gone up a lot. But uh, recently, um, some news came out about Segwit2x that it may be coming back. So looking at the price right now, you can see whenever that announcement came out that um, Segwit2x would no longer happen, the hard fork would no longer happen, you can see the price plummeted. It was from nearly $1,300 all the way down to $208. And since then, it's actually gone up all the way to $485. So 61% just today. And um, there's a big couple big reasons for that that I'm going to go over. So first, um, looking at the Twitter account of a guy's name is uh, Tur Demister, and he is an author or writer at uh, Coindesk.com. And one of his posts, he uh, links something that says uh, plot twist. BitPico claims B2X hard fork will happen, backed by 30% of hash rate. So basically they link an email and part of the email says, um, we are carrying out the fork regardless as everything is set in motion. Backing down the difficulty right now is a strategy. Wonder why 30% network hash rate disappeared. It's ours, the miners that will continue what is set in motion. A handful of humans cannot stop what they have no control over. So this, uh, I'll show you the email right here. And basically he's, this, whoever this is, they're responding to uh, the CEO of BitGo. And um, basically, and it says, you know, sent from my spaceship. So who knows who, th who knows, you know, who this is. Um, I mean, it could be a random person, could be someone playing a hoax, uh, trying to, you know, affect the price of Bitcoin or altcoins or something. But um, they sent out that email and basically it's by BitPico and a couple people in Twitter um, actually commented that uh, BitPico didn't exist before September of 2017. Um, and then others are saying that's the group of people who invested on Segwit2x futures. Good luck trying to recover from that 80% drop. And then one that I saw that interested me is last month they were up to a whopping 1.72% hashing power so you know if they were up only 1.72 percent now they're saying they have 30 percent uh that's kind of you know questioning the validity of this so so that's kind of one thing you know that i'm still unsure about um and there's really no source for this um and then another thing uh, that i was looking at is basically they wanted to have at least 80 percent uh consensus for SegWit. So right now uh, it was 80% a couple days ago. Now it's actually 76.7%. So it's fallen below 80% and you can see here that the blocks mined for SegWit2x has actually kept decreasing. So uh, that's good news for Bitcoin. And um, you can see here, I mean, it, I believe earlier today was around 78%, so it's just been decreasing. So their support is actually um, fading away. I know uh, VIA actually uh, is no longer signaling for Segwit2x, and they're actually signaling for Bitcoin Cash now. So um, you can see here, VIA BTC, they're no longer support Segwit2x here. So. That's another big player. I mean, without them, you know, there's almost no chance. But again, you know, anything's possible in the crypto world. So the biggest thing that everyone's talking about, though, is this last one right here, Bitcoin2x.org. And they have on the front page, we have decided to continue with the fork as planned. We will not allow the destiny of Bitcoin to be controlled by six individuals. It's talking about, you know, those six main people who withdrew their support uh, from Segwit2x. Same date, November 15th.
then they have a video here explaining what it is. So this has been um, the big thing. Not too many people are talking about this right now, um, but I expect they will be. And so all of that has actually caused the 2X futures to go up by over 61% today. So that's, you know, what's been going on. Um, it's still, I mean, still not concrete right now if it's back or not, but you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of speculation over the next few days up until this date. So again, I mean, it's not really reason to panic, um, but just, you know, be aware that this is happening and Segwit 2X could still happen. I mean, there's still a slight possibility, very small, but still a slight possibility. So I wanted to bring this to y'all's attention and, um, you know, just, just let you know what's been going on and possibly, you know, it could still end up happening. So, um, you know, there's never a dull moment, uh, crypto world. So just, you know, take, take this with whatever you want. Um, and there's also, uh, something else, uh, I believe how I, uh, said that, uh, via BTC was signaling for Bitcoin cash. Now uh, there's actually a rumor that China may be, um, supporting Bitcoin cash now over Bitcoin. So just keep that in mind. I mean, the price of Bitcoin cash has actually been, you know, increasing a lot as well. Um, I believe right now it's been up over uh, 20, 20 or 30 percent, actually. BCH. Yeah, I mean, it's over 33 percent right now. So it's been rising a lot. Um, you know, that's that's another one that's been been doing pretty good lately. So. Um, so there's a lot of different things going on right now, um, but yeah, again, I just wanted to you know keep y'all updated and um, let you know you know if you hear anything about Segwit 2x, um, this is basically what people are talking about right now. So uh, with that, um, if any if anyone is in Genesis Mining, they actually have their Bitcoin contracts uh, have been available all day today, and they're probably going to sell out within the next day or two. So uh, make sure to get those. Um, if you would, I have my promo code in the description below as well as the comments. Uh, if you want to use that for 3% off, I'd really appreciate it. So hope this helped you all out. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, see you.